Thank you, girl. Bless your heart. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. How are you doing today? My name is Muffet and thank you so much for clicking on my thumbnail. So today I wanna to talk to you guys about what makes you happy. What makes you happy and when you're down, what do you do self-care wise that makes you um, happy? So I'm gonna give um, you guys an example. The reason why I got into fragrances in the first place is because um, I had lost my mom in 2021 and me and her, we wore the same fragrances. So, um, as you can imagine, I couldn't wear those fragrances anymore. So then I would, I started the hunt to uh, look for other fragrances that I like to wear. And that turned into me being a collector and me having this like, extreme passion for fragrances and i truly believe that it does help with my mental health it is my aromatherapy this uh october was uh, september and october was the anniversary of her passing in her funeral so the past month or so i've been kind of in and out of depression and i've struggled with that and anxiety um you know significantly since I lost her. So, um, and I'm sure you guys can relate to me when you lose a loved one or something traumatic happens in your life, you learn a different part of yourself um, in terms of how you cope. And I know that the holidays are coming up. We're in the fall. It is a, a, an amazing season. However, um, I know that a lot of people do struggle with um, not having their loved ones or, you know, other issues around this time. Depression can be on the rise. So I'm, and this is, this is, I am very interested in learning about what you guys do to cope when you're feeling down or, um, you just need to pick me up and that's kind of so the past month and a half um that's what i've been doing i've been going to my scents and i've been trying to you know come up with combinations layering and body care that would help me with my mood and um yeah i wanted to share that with you guys i'm very interested in hearing what you guys have to share about what you do as a pick-me-up and i'm gonna start off i guess this is a tag video it can be a tag video but um yeah, any other creator that watches this, feel free. Anybody watching this, if you don't want to uh, create a video, write it down in the comments. Let us know, and we are a community here. This is a safe space. Let us know what you do to, to pick yourself up and make sure that your mental health is okay. All right? So this particular um, pick-me-up is going to be fragrances and body hair. And I'm really excited to share this with you because who knows, it may help someone and who knows, whatever you guys write down in the comments or whoever creates a tag video with this can also um, help you guys out. It, it, it's, it's all about community. And that's one of the reasons why I created this channel was number one, I wanted to have a community of people that shared the same um the same passion as me. I also wanted to create a space where people can find fragrances that are phthalate free. That's a huge um, um, issue for me specifically because I have an autoimmune disease. So, and I'm sure there are plenty of other women and men out there that are autoimmune that should pay more attention um, that are interested in learning what will not work against their endocrine system. So with that being said, I think I said a whole lot. Hmm. If you guys are interested, please stay tuned. And don't forget to like and comment on this video. I, I look forward to communicating with you guys. You guys crack me up. And you guys give some good advice too on different uh, fragrance combos. We're gonna talk about that. Also click on that bell so that you know of the next time that I upload a video. And on another note, if you noticed, I have flat ironed my hair and I have colored my hair. I added some highlights in here just for something. I wanted to do something different. I'm trying new things out little by little. So I have a, a second earlobe uh, piercing right here. I'm just doing something different. It feels good. It feels good to do something different. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the hairdresser um, information below. This is my first time actually adding highlights to my hair. So I went to Unlocked by Jayla, and if you're in the DMV area, and if you want to get your hair done, 
check her out. So I'm gonna leave her information down below. All right, so let's get started. Okay, and just to let you know that whatever body butter or lotion or whatever moisturizer that I use on my skin, I always mix in a body oil with it. And recently I started creating my own body oil just because I, I just feel like what is available out there is not always giving, you know what I'm saying? And it's really inexpensive to make your own. And um, so what I've been doing is I take eight ounces of the oil that works for my skin. So as you guys know, I've been using prickly pear seed oil for the longest time, but then I decided recently to change things up. I decided to mix argan oil with maracuja oil. And when I say the moisture in my skin is on a completely next level, it is absolutely amazing. So I do eight ounces of body oil that works for my skin. And then I take two milliliters. You see this dropper right here? I take two milliliters up to here of fragrance oil, phthalate free fragrance oil that's safe for your skin. And I put that into the oil, shake it up for a minute and you're done. And literally this is a perfect example of creating your own body oil. It's very simple and um, it's inexpensive. So I'm gonna put down in the description below three, two or three brands of fragrance oils that I really love um, to pick from. So what I'll be showing in this video is Pumpkin Caramel Crunch. And this I used from the Candle Science Company. And this is just a sample and this sample bottle alone served me well because I, I started to make other things with this. I'll share with you eventually in another video, but um, just having this, what, um, one ounce of fragrance oil has created other things plus on top of that, this body oil and all I needed was two milliliters of this and this was what like not over five dollars so guys um instead of throwing your money away sometimes to these other body oils out there you can custom make your own body oil you can put vanilla beans in there you could put um flowers in there let it sit and marinate you can do so much with body oil so um yeah, definitely don't leave it up to other companies to sell you body oil. You can definitely simply make it at home. Just thought I'd share that with you. So the first fragrance that I wanna talk about is none other than K. Ali Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. When I say this thing has helped me emotionally um, feel better, like, just it was this this fragrance is so comforting for me so okay so if you guys can see this is where my dent is right now the last time that i brought this to you guys my dent was up here and this was like just in the span of a week so i have been wearing this a lot and the, the the notes in here are so warm and sweet and comforting you have your rum of course you have your pistachio you have ice cream you have whipped cream you have cardamom in here um cotton candy this thing is just so beautiful to me and every time i sprayed it it just it just gave me like moments of peace oh let me just spray it on my my hand one time it does it again for me. What I've worn with this, of course, you guys know that I love Sugar Mama fragrances, body butters. They're phthalate free, paraben free, and um, their scents are amazing. They're creative. There's a huge variety of their um, of their body butters. She all, I mean, she also makes. So if you go, this is on Etsy, by the way. If you go to Etsy and look for Sugar Mama fragrances, you will find a slew of different scents that you can choose from. And not only can you choose a body butter of a scent that you like, you can choose variations of that scent. So we have pistachio ice cream here, right? You can buy this in the perfume, which I do have. You can get this in the oil shimmer the shimmer oil you can get this in a body spray you can get this in a hair oil like you name it and you can order it in this scent and I love how there's so much variety in in the products um that sugar mama fragrances offers so this is pistachio ice cream by sugar mama fragrances and this is my preferred um body butter right now i have i have four this is my preferred body butter for the yum pistachio gelato i have a few other uh pistachio moisturizers but this to me it tops it 
Oh gosh, it tops it. This is like the icing on the pistachio cake. These two together are like a match made in heaven. They they brought me so much joy this week and I'm gonna continue using this throughout the winter, the spring, but I find myself using this a lot more in cooler weather. So yeah, this is an amazing combination, but wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, so at times where I kind of didn't feel like using the pistachio ice cream body butter, I went in with Sugar Mama's lemon pound cake combination. So this is the body oil and this is the body butter. And y'all, this body oil is so fragrant. It is so, oh my gosh. And the, and the quality of her body oils are absolutely amazing. Oh, imagine pistachio and lemon pound cake, you guys. Just, just picture what that smells like awesome combination. So the lemon pound cake literally smells like, oh, this smells like a sweet lemon pound cake with some lemon um, icing on it. It's so gorgeous, you guys. Oh, so if you guys want to try a little variation to your yum pistachio gelato, go ahead and try the lemon pound cake one by Sugar Mama Fragrances. This is, this is awesome. And don't sleep on the lemon pound cake body oil, you guys. Don't sleep. This thing is amazing. Up next is Mellow Musk by Myth Bangkok Fragrances. This um, is reasonably priced. And I remember describing this as fall in a bottle. And I still feel this way. This, this opens up with a thick, creamy peach. It's almost like that peach has been infused with all of the whipped cream and the a whole bunch of coconut and it's I wouldn't say this is a coconut fragrance but the the coconut that is in there has given this thing such a thick um background it, it's amazing even though it's for the fall well that coconut does something so beautiful with this fragrance this has peach I have some jasmine and palisana rosewood in here but the base notes are what gets me you have vanilla amber whipped cream or milk cream and then you have some toffee in the base and I just feel like it just has your perfect balance of your floral. You can smell the Palisander Rosewood in here but it doesn't smell woody. It smells like an aura of the wood if that makes sense. It's a soft sweet fragrance that comes from the wood and that's what you smell. It is awesome. This is not to me this is not a woody fragrance at all and I do think that this fragrance can be unisex. If a woman were to wear this, she would smell 100% feminine. It does not take away from a woman's femininity. I absolutely love this fragrance. So what I decided to wear with Myth Bangkok Mellow Musk is Sugar Mama Fragrances White Chocolate and Macadamia Nut Cookies. So this already, the perfume already has milk musk in there. It already has your toffee, some coconut things that you bake with. So adding that white chocolate macadamia nut cookie fragrance on top of that was the perfect topping. Oh my gosh. Talk about comforting. Talk about melt in your mouth. You will smell like you melt in somebody's mouth. I'm just saying. But that's how scrumptious this, this really does smell. And um, it puts your mind at ease. Yeah. Try this combination out, you guys. It is awesome. Next up, you guys, is Plum and Cognac by Scents of Woods. This is a fragrance that I've wanted to get since last winter, and I was so happy that I got it for the upcoming cooler weather. So this, of course, has your plum and your cognac in here, but there's also some cinnamon, which is perfect for this time of year. Of course, you have some vanilla and some Peru Boslem in here, and I just feel like this is... Oh. Okay, so... I have a window behind me. <laughs> I have a window behind the camera and sniffing this while looking outside is like a perfect match. This does something for my mood. Okay. It's so comforting with that rum, that cinnamon and that vanilla and the Pearl Boslem just adds like a, 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 a soothing thick blanket that just covers you up. 
that's what that note does for me. And um, what I decided to wear with this fragrance is uh, Cognac and Praline. No, this is Cognac and Spice Pralines. And this is by Land of Oz. And as I mentioned before, she, um, you can check out, she's on Etsy as well, but I'm not sure if she's back on um, her. I'm not sure if her store is back open, but check her store periodically and see if she's open because her body, um, her body lotions and her oils are amazing. But yeah, cognac and spice pralines, you guys. This adds the perfect sweetness and the spice in here, it blends so well with the cinnamon and the perobosum it, it, uh, in the perfume, it's amazing. Gosh, it's almost like this body butter was made for this fragrance. This is the perfect touch. I wouldn't be surprised if Parabosalum was in this body butter right here. I mean, they, they match so well together. You got to try this out. You got to. The next set of three combinations that I'm going to show you are actually layered combinations and it has multiple fragrances that are included. Um, yeah, so let's start off with Blackberry Lily. This is Blackberry Lily by Seven Virtues and y'all see my dent? When I say I wore this a lot, there's something in this fragrance. I think it might be the Divana. It grounds this fragrance so well. So of course you have your blackberry, you have your lily, you have um, a, a group of florals. You have lily of the valley, you have rose, you have magnolia. In the base, you have caramel, some cedar, some patchouli, and some amber. And I just feel like this fragrance is so beautifully blended. And it's a shame it's only what? 50 mils, it's only 1.7 ounces. Um, but y'all, I'm in love with this fragrance. And what I decided to wear with this is the Vanilla 28 Perfume by K. Ali. Now, this dent is denting, y'all. <laughs> um, I got this, I think it was last, either last winter or, or last spring. So um, yeah, I definitely wear this more in cooler weather, but the Vanilla Touch added such an amazing balance to this. So the vanilla added some sweetness to this fragrance and they blended together so well. Blackberry, lily, vanilla, orchid, and then you have some magnolia and rose, and then you have some amber, caramel, and some cedar. Together, this was a beautiful fall combination, you guys. You guys have got to try this. And the, um, the Sephora sales coming up. This is definitely gonna be included in my recommendations for um, the sale, but I'm definitely gonna have to repurchase another one um, because look what I've done to this already. Like, I don't wanna be out of this, but this combination is absolutely beautiful. And what I decided to wear with those two fragrances was Berry Creme Belay. And this is by Sugar Mama Fragrances, you guys. So imagine a creme brulee body butter and just add in some berries. It complements the Vanilla 28 and how it really sweetens up the Blackberry Lily fragrance, but the Blackberry Lily fragrance has black currant and blackberry in there. And I just feel like that matches so well with the berry that is in this creme brulee body butter. You guys, I remember I wore this combination out. Um, I went to go meet up with my nieces because they were getting their hair done. Oh, their hair is so cute. But anyways, um, and um, I was getting ready to head out soon and the hairdresser was like, before you leave, write down, write down what you're wearing really quick. And I told her what the combination was and she really, really loved it. So I really hope that she got um, this uh, combination. I really hope that she got these two fragrances or hopefully we'll get them soon because I think this is an amazing, sweet, but not overly sweet um, full combination. Yeah, this is awesome. And it just, it gave me some joy inside. Next, you guys, is a fragrance that's fairly new to my collection, but I've been loving it in this layered combo that I've been using. This is Tootie Twilly. And um, this was released this year. And this was a fragrance that I ended up getting from um, Saks Fifth Avenue. I, that was the only thing that I got when I was in there just sniffing around. I just so happened to get it because I was just like, you know what? Why not? Why not? 
Okay, so, okay. So the notes in here are lychee, ginger flower, and musk. And I'll have to say, the ginger in here is not the type of sweet, fresh ginger that's in the uh, the Twilly de Hermes U Ginger. I think that that's what it's called. Um, the ginger in here is is a different type of one. It's a ginger for cooler weather. It's a damp ginger. Don't really smell the lychee, but however, it is sweet. But I I can't dis I can't differentiate what's making it sweet though. So I don't really smell that specific lychee note in here. But I think this is an amazing sweet spiced ginger for the fall. And what I decided to wear with this one is choco musk. Choco, <laughs> Choco Musk by Our Rehab, y'all. I have been loving this fragrance. I feel like ginger and chocolate go really, really well together. And the, 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 the spice that is in that ginger, it complements the, the milk chocolate so beautifully. When I say I wore this back to back and it is long lasting, like this right here now i spoke about this before and i remember mentioning that it doesn't last that long but together oh wow this is absolutely amazing whatever chocolate fragrance you have um definitely try that with with this fragrance right here and you can even even if you have another ginger fragrance i i just think ginger and chocolate together go really well so definitely try that and leave leave a comment down below and let me know what ginger fragrance and chocolate fragrances that you have in your collection and let me know if you will try it or if you tried it and, and what you thought about it because i feel like they complemented each other so well but wait there's more okay I decided that I wanted to add some ooey gooey to this fragrance. It was, it was really good just with those two fragrances alone, but I was like, no, no, I want some ooey gooey. I want my ooey gooey. So I went in with the pumpkin caramel crunch fragrance oil that I created using candle science fragrance oils. And y'all, this, this did the trick. This added that ooey gooey for me and I was just so pleased with this combination. So you have your sweet ginger, your sweet spiced ginger, some chocolate, and then you have some pumpkin and caramel. Those notes together, I cannot describe to you how comforting and how beautiful it felt on my skin. I can't, I can't even describe it. It was so beautiful. And then on top of that, I went in with my chocolate body butter by Sugar Mama Fragrances. I mean, it was, it was only fitting, okay? Now I'm sure you could use a caramel body butter too, or um, something like that, something that's like, um, like a like a salted caramel type of uh, body lotion or body butter, that's great too. Um, but I wanted to go in with my chocolate. And y'all, let me see if I can gather these in my hands right quick. This to me was monumental. This combination right here was monumental. It was so beautiful. I will forever be using this combination right here. Forever and ever and ever, 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 ever. Yeah, this is really good. Last but not least is a layering combination that actually a viewer um, suggested to me and that sounded so beautiful. So I wanted to try it. And um, so it's a mixture between Gritty Tutu Blanc and Strychnina by Vicanto. Y'all. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Thank you, girl. Bless your heart. Okay, so uh, okay, so this is your 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 sexy feminine innocent uh fragrance. This is like cotton candy and clouds. This that's what this fragrance smells like. Ugh. This has your coconut, this has your apple, this has your black currant, this has some vanilla and some musk in it. You guys, I just this this fragrance is so gorgeous i'm just so happy that i i purchased this fragrance this fragrance right here is absolutely gorgeous so now 
The Sexy Raspberry that is in this Vicanto fragrance right here is what complemented this because this has a sweet sexy smooth fragrance but that 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 raspberry in here is done so beautifully and and and, and it, this is a grown and sexy fragrance right here oh this strychnina has passion fruit raspberry peach cinnamon lemon cassis sweet notes musk vanilla amber and some woody notes but to me overall this is a sexy raspberry fragrance with a little bit of peach on it. This is absolutely beautiful. And it, it now that it it has had a year or so to sit, I, it smells to me like the raspberry has turned into some, it's turned into fermented raspberry in a good way. It, this fragrance is here to stay. Like this scent here is not going anywhere. The lasting power on this is amazing. So you have this combination of Tutu Blanc and then you have Vicanto, but wait, there's more. Okay, so I couldn't stop there. Couldn't stop there, okay? I wanted to add in, it's kind of like you have your sweet, innocent, sexy, then you have your sultry, um, sexy, and then, you have your motherly not in a not in an old person way but there's something very welcoming there's something very um enveloping about this particular rose fragrance this is mysterious rose by amar oud elixir y'all <sighs> I don't talk about this too much because it reminds me of my mom. My mom loved rose fragrances. They always smelled so beautiful on her. And um, her middle name had the word rose in there. So I thought, yeah, but guys, this fragrance right here is absolutely beautiful. So for Armor Oud Elixir, I'm gonna read you the notes because this, this type of rose fragrance is different to me. So this opens up with praline, fig, lemon, and pepper. The middle notes are damask rose, osmanthus, and violet leaf. And then in the base, you have Bulgarian rose, Tahitian vanilla, benzoin, and cedar. And um, reading the notes to you, I can tell automatically it's the damask rose in here that reminds me um, of my mom or, or a mom in general. There's something about this fragrance that's so maternal and in a beautiful way if you could remember your your mother in 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 her most beautifulest most feminine um way that's what this fragrance um smells like to me so adding that armor oud elixir with vicanto by strict by Strychnina by Bicanto and then on top of that you have your Tutu Blanc by Gritty Fragrances. You guys, you cannot go wrong. This combination together is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I cannot get enough and I can't believe like I've had these sitting in my collection for a while now and I never combined them together. But yeah, definitely try these out if you have them and let me know what you guys think. The body butter that I wore with those three fragrances was Peach and Grapefruit Body Butter by Sugar Mama Fragrances, y'all. Oh yeah. Oh, this is peach. This is peach crystallite, okay? But when you add all those fragrances together, I just feel like it, it, it complements the fragrances, it adds that perfect sweetness for the fall with that peach and that grapefruit. And it's not too creamy, but there is some, there is a creamy scent in here as well. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's like, it's like you have a touch of coconut in here somewhere. Yeah, this is a beautiful body butter, you guys. And um, yeah, this combination right here, you got your peach grapefruit, um, uh, body butter with Amar Oud Elixir Mysterious Rose and then you have your Strychnina by Vicanto and then you have your Tutu Blanc by Gritty Fragrances you guys y'all try it and let me know what you think if you have these fragrances I wouldn't suggest you go like buying all these at the same time and you know even if you sample them sample these three together and tell me what you think guys you gonna fall back in love 
you're not gonna fall forward you're gonna fall back in love yeah but yeah this is good 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 Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and listening to all the fragrance and body care layering combinations that really helped pick up my mood um, these past few weeks. Um, I am very interested in learning what helped you guys out. When you're down and out, what makes you feel better? What do you put on that just brightens your mood instantly? You know, what makes you feel comforted? What makes you feel like you're going to have a good day today? You know, I definitely look forward to hearing what you guys have to say and us sharing in community and supporting one another. Okay, that's the beautiful thing about um, having a channel is that you do get to um speak with the community and talk about the same things that you guys are passionate about. So until the next time, you guys, you take care of yourself and love on yourself and enjoy life. Okay. Um, I hope you have an amazing, amazing week. All right. You guys take care. Bye-bye.